There are many here who have seen the danger Species 8472 presents with their own eyes for the first time. Thank you for your assistance in protecting both Earth and Kronos from the Undine. However terrible, this battle did have one benefit. Today's fight opened the door to what may be a lasting peace between the Federation and the Empire. Now we must have the courage to compromise for the greater good. In its way, that can be more difficult than waging war. The formalities will begin soon. Until then, I must take the time to speak to others who were instrumental in the success of this mission. That was a close one, but I'm fortunate Voyager transported me off the ship at the last second. It would have been a worthy sacrifice. Kronos is too important to lose. A true peace may not be on the table yet, but I hope we can at least broker a lasting armistice. But first, we celebrate today. Earth and Kronos are safe. My people have respected the Federation ever since our first encounter with your famed Captain Kirk. I have advised Chancellor Jimpok that the Gorn support the idea of a ceasefire. Perhaps this will lead to greater freedom for all of us. You have shown your true nature today. Worf was correct. There is honor in the Federation. The conflict between us has gone on long enough. Now we should turn our blades toward the real enemy. I remember you from the Gateway Activation. You fought well today. May our meetings on the battlefield always be as glorious. I served in Starfleet, and now I serve the Empire. There are many on both sides of the current conflict for whom I have deep respect. I see this as an opportunity. We may find we have more in common than we realize. Our people come from a culture of deception and division. We've rejected our past in favor of open alliances. Perhaps it's time for the Federation and the Empire to set aside their past as well. We would welcome a ceasefire between our allies. Earth and Kronos are safe and the Romulan Republic is pleased to assist its allies. I just wish my father could see all of us working together toward a common goal. This is the future he dreamed of. The five races of the Zindi once tried to exterminate humanity. Through the efforts of a few people who were willing to change, we put aside our weapons and worked through our differences. Now, we are members of the Federation. Peace came with great difficulty, but that is the way of most things worth having. The Undine are here, and they're spreading lies and dividing us from within. Now, more than ever, we need to set aside our animosities and work together for the greater good. I admit, I did not expect the Federation to act with such honor. I do not know what the final decision of the High Council will be, but rest assured that the Undine will pay. We will hunt down every last Kameku and destroy them 
for what they have done here today. You fought well for someone from Starfleet. Many fine warriors have earned their places in Stovacor today. They died with honor, fighting one of our most formidable enemies. The Undine brought the battle to our very threshold. The fine warriors standing before me pushed them back. Let us honor our sacrifices and our accomplishments by ending... Here to impress you, demon! We stand united, and there is no one who can... We give you a single warning to not attract our attention again. Together, it's time for our feud to end. Agreed. From this day forward, all hostilities between the Empire and the Federation will cease. The Iconians use servitor races and other species to do their fighting for them. Species 8472 has been an unknowing cat's paw of the Iconians for some time. This time, however, the Undine were defeated, and it was our combined strength that allowed us to prevail. Thousands of years ago, the Iconians were defeated by an alliance of races. I predict their ultimate aim has been to prevent such an alliance from happening again. There have been periods in our combined history when the Federation and the Empire have not been at war, but they have not been allies either. This may be the beginning of such a time. It will be up to us to determine what happens next. With time, we may even restore the alliance that came out of the Kittimer Accords. Voyager will return to the Delta Quadrant. There is much to do there, and the Janolan Sphere will need to be protected from further Undine assaults. I am sure I will see you again. You have been a worthy ally, and your wisdom and courage will be called upon in the days ahead. Until then, live long and prosper. <laughs>